Hey guys, what's going on? Glass Parking Lot here. If you remember in the last video, we talked about how to actually unbrick your OSVR if you were one of the unfortunate ones that did it. Um, today we're going to talk about the perfect OSVR setup. Um, it works for me, actually. <laughs> you know, uh, so I guess let's do it. The hero. Hero. This is a test. Buck, buck, wow. Alright, so one of the first things I wanted to talk to you about is the NVIDIA graphics accelerator drivers. They actually released an update not too long ago, like a week ago, I think, that has better support for the OSVR, which is actually really cool. I've been using them. They haven't been a problem for me. I don't think they should be a problem for you. Um, now, since I've unbricked the OSVR, um, I've been looking for software to use, you know, instead of using the OSVR software so I don't take any risk of actually breaking it again. Um, and I've come up with, with a couple of programs that are actually really cool. They've been working pretty good. One of those programs requires you to hook your phone up to your OSVR. As you can see, here's mine. Modified it a little bit. There's my phone. It's pretty cool, actually. Now, until the OSVR support team actually releases an update, which I know they work hard and they're working hard and diligently on it and everything, but until they're able to release an update that prevents the, the firmware from corrupting, I'm going to go ahead and use this setup. So I guess let's take a look at some of the programs. All right, so the first program we're going to look at today is called TriDef 3D. It's a really cool program. It's about 30 to 40 bucks uh, if you buy it outright. It uh, splits your screen, it fuses your screen, it does movies and split screen in real time on the fly. Uh, it does your games 3D. I've gotten it to work with Battlefield 3, Titanfall, War Thunder, which is a big one. I know a lot of people like to play War Thunder inside the cockpit, shooting down other planes, all that good stuff. It's actually a lot of fun, um, which there's a little bit of modification in having to, trying to get that one to work, but... Um, I'll post instructions down in the bitch box below. As I mentioned, just like OSVR control, it splits the screen, it fuses it for you, um, and it's called TriDef 3D because it actually does 3D. Um, it's actually really cool when you're in Titanfall, in the world of Titanfall, and you're at the foot of a Titan, and you look up, uh, and everything's in 3D, and you're looking up at the Titan, really makes you feel small. It does all this through software, so there's no risk of messing up the firmware, any of that stuff. Uh, it's completely safe. It's awesome. I actually watched Hardcore Henry in it the other night. Um, the movie was okay, but the, the uh, just the experience of watching it like that was really awesome. It was a lot of fun. All right, well, I guess let's look at our first program, Tridef 3D. I'll see you on the desktop. All right, guys, we're going to have to deal with the Bandicam logo up there at the top because... For some reason, it unregistered itself, and I don't have the time to register it. So, um, all right. So this is actually. Let me close that. Let's start up. Try def 3D. First, you're brought to the screen. This right here is the area where you can go to watch 3D videos. And like I said, it's any video, whatever. Uh, oh, here's Hardcore Henry. So it splits the screen for you. Everything. It's awesome. Good, you got legs. Now. Sure, his arm was shot off below the below the elbow and the, the leg shot off below the knee. And that was a football side. Did he happen yeah. to see his head? Yes. Do anyways, that's hardcore Henry. It's pretty badass. Um let's go back here watch a DVD in 3D, so this is going to be any DVD that you have, just throw it in the DVD writer, that'll take care of it on its own. There's 3D photos, um, you actually, the screenshots that it takes, uh, they are in 3D. Um, so, if you have 3D photos that other people have done, which I've actually looked at, are really cool. Um, I found those today. This is where you would go to view it at. Um, this right here is where you do 3D games. So we're going to click on this right now. And this is what we're brought to right here. Um, you can see I have Battlefield 3 in here, Elite Dangerous, Evercron Legacy, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Titanfall, and War Thunder. Um, for, let's see, well, let's go ahead and fire up Titanfall. This is going to be on my regular screen, though, so... 
Um, and normally what I've been doing while this is loading is I'll set the OSVR as the, um, the primary screen. And then if you hold the Windows key and press P, you can come up here to duplicate. That will duplicate your primary monitor to your second monitor. That way other people that's watching can actually see what you're doing in the game. Now, of course, it's going to be, you know, split screen. It's going to be halved uh, because that's what it's actually showing on the OSVR when it's an extended landscape doing it that way. But, you know, people can still see and get an idea as to what, uh, what you're doing inside the game. I'm going to bail out of here while this is uh, starting up. It takes it a minute to load. All right, here we are. This is Titanfall loading. Game just started, big booms. <laughs> All right, now the way that Tri Def 3D works is it actually intercepts what is going on through DirectX and then it renders it the way that it sees fit. It splits it on the screen like this. It works with anything that's DirectX 9, 10, or 11 with a few exceptions on DirectX 11. Um, War Thunder being one of those exceptions because, I don't know, it just doesn't work, uh, working th you know, loading through DirectX 11. So I had to actually force War Thunder, as I mentioned earlier, to run through DirectX 11, uh, 9. So uh, here we go. It's still high quality. I have my Titanfall settings set on the highest quality that there is. Um, my system's running a NVIDIA graphics accelerator. It's uh, the 950 uh, GTX. It's pretty awesome. Konnichiwa, arigato. Fucker. Oh my god. I promise I'm good at this game. I feel like those Tourette's guys in that fucking fishing shot, man. Touch me penis, it's great. That's a fat guy. <laughs> One tick can trigger many. <laughs> Arms robbery. Now, something that I haven't figured out, though I haven't really tried, but that if you saw that little red dot in the middle of it, um, I don't know why that's there. I don't know how to get rid of it yet, uh, but also I haven't tried, so... But yeah, cool. Let's go back out to the webcam and let's take a look at Trinus. All right, guys. So that was TriDev 3D. I love it. It's easy to use. It's straightforward. It's awesome. Um, so the next program we're going to talk about is going to be Trinus or Trinus or Trinus. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's Trinus. It's one of the many programs I came across to do head tracking without the infrared camera. Uh, my adventure along the way. One of those other programs I came across was Face Track No IR. Maybe I had it set up wrong, but for me, it was just absolute crap. I couldn't get it up work. I mean, it would do the face tracking, like, from here to there, and, like, maybe here and there and stuff. But other than that, it would just wig out and stuff. And they say that the better the webcam that you have, the better it'll function for you. I have a 720 HD, you know, webcam, so I don't know, whatever. Uh, in the light, my room's pretty good, so I don't know. It is what it is. But Trinus, though, or Trinus, I like to pronounce it Trinus. But if somebody has a pronunciation for that, please put it in the bitch box below. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but uh, Trinus, though, <laughs> but Trinus, though, uh, basically what it's supposed to do is the people with Google Cardboard allows them to stream their computer screen to their phone. It splits the screen for them on the phone as well. But while it does that, it also does head tracking, and it does it beautifully. Uh, it's pretty much flawless that I've seen. But in saying so, you have to attach your phone to your OSVR. There you go. That's mine. That's how I test right now. Um, it's a Samsung Galaxy S5. It's got a gyroscope in it. It's awesome. Um, now, basically how I attached it is, so you got the Velcro strip on here. This right here is a phone clip that I had. Um, it's a little too big for my phone. That's why I got the purple band on there to secure the phone in place. But I use the 3M Velcro strips on here. That way when OSVR support team releases uh, firmware that doesn't have the chance of corrupting it, I can cleanly remove 
the Velcro strips using these tabs right here, and it comes off cleanly. No harm, no damage, no foul done. Um, and I attached it like so. Um, also, something else that's awesome is uh, I just took a regular Android cable. My phone's an Android. This also works for Apple, too. But the OSVR right here, you can see it has... Uh, the USB port already on the side of it. I just took an Android cable and attached it straight to the phone. That way it charges when you're uh, streaming the head track and everything. It's pretty cool. Alright, but there's one more modification that I gotta make to it right quick. Hang on, hang on just a second. Alright, there we go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you can even put googly eyes on it so you look like some kind of jackass. Alright, anyways, let's do this shit. Let's take a look at Tratus. All right, guys, and here we are again. Uh, I just wanted to come to the Google Play Store, show you Trinus VR, um, and here we go. Uh, it says I already have it installed. Right here, it would say that it's $9.99. It's 10 bucks right out. They they do have the light version here. Um, I don't know what kind of limitations you have on it. Actually, let's look and see if it says. Oh, that sucks. Free 10-minute taster sessions. I guess that's all you get. <laughs> all right, but anyways, though. Um, I didn't even go with the light version. I just bought it straight out because I saw what it did already. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. So, okay. Anyways, let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Yes, sir. Let me grab my phone. Okay. So, this is Trinus VR. Um, it's kind of a funny interface. Fake roll, if you're in a game that doesn't support uh, rolling your head, uh, as far as head tracking goes, then you can turn that on or off. Uh, basically, it will fake it. Um, this right here, an important one, tracking, it's set to auto. Don't change it. Um, I haven't had the need to change it so far uh, with the games that I'm working with. I changed it at the beginning, um, about five minutes after I bought it, and it messed me up for about an hour because I couldn't figure out what I did that broke it. Um, so, yeah, big note. Just leave it on auto for now. Uh, precision, basically, just, you know, this is um, just how precise it is. All right, now there's a couple of ways that you can set this up. You can set it up through network using your Wi-Fi, your own in-home network, which is what I do. Um, I haven't seen any flaws in it so far. This right here, this is uh, where it would show you if you were hooked it up, if you actually tethered it through USB. I have not set this up because I don't feel the need to just yet. The network's been working for me. So basically I have this set up on my phone already. I got it started up. Almost looks the same as what's on the server on the PC, but um, basically once you have the app up and going on your phone, um, just click the power button, and then there we go. You can see it on the screen. Now, you see the mouse moving around? That's because of the gyroscope that's inside of my phone. Move it down, mouse goes down, left, right, all that good stuff. Now, this is how, this is what, how it tracks your head, is through that. And you can move it all over the place, left, right, left, right. It works flawlessly, no problems. Um, now, I have noticed that if I go down too far, the mouse goes to the right, right there for some reason. Um, I don't know why that is, but I haven't seen it. It hasn't really affected it in the game at all for me. So, um, so let's start up a game and see how it works. Actually, hey, let's go back into Titan. No, let's do War Thunder. War Thunder is a big one that I know everybody's been wanting to see. So we'll do that. All right, and here we are logging into War Thunder. You can see how the mouse is kind of moving a little bit. That's because my phone, I'm moving my phone with my hand. Now, just to let you know, this program requires a gyroscope. Well, it doesn't require a gyroscope. If you don't have a gyroscope in your phone, it will revert to using the accelerometer. But, I mean, my phone is kind of outdated. It's a Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, so, you know, it has a gyroscope in it. So, it, pretty much any new phone nowadays is going to have a gyroscope in it. Um, now as you can see there's a couple of lighting issues here I haven't went through the settings to quite figure that out just yet 
but that didn't start happen until I forced War Thunder to run in DirectX 9. So, you know, that's all that is. And there are a couple of graphical things inside of the game as well. Uh, of course, again, because, you know, you're... You, we're forcing DirectX 9 to run. So here we are inside of the jet, or inside of the plane. All that good stuff, everything looks great. Let's level us out a little bit. Now, if we hold down C to look around, then you move your face wherever, and you can look all over the place. All that good stuff, even all the way back around behind you. It's freaking awesome. I love this thing, dude. And then we uh, let go of C to go back again. And I doubt we're going to be able to kill anything on this because I don't really have my left hand because of my phone. Eh, we're already getting lit up. Let's see where he went. If we can see him. Nope, we're climbing. And the engine's about to stall out. Looks like he threw a turd at the plane as he passed. It's splattered all over the windshield. Gross. Oh. Plane's burning out. Probably smells like doo-doo on fire on the inside of the plane. Nasty people. They play dirty. God, man. I can't believe he threw doo-doo at my plane as he passed. That turd hit the windshield and splattered all over the place. Anyways, let's get back out to the main screen. Alright guys, here we are again. Um, just thought you might want to see this right quick, but check this out. As you look around, it shows everything. <laughs> this thing is so cool. See, I mean it's accurate. It's quick too. See? Alright, that's it. Alright guys, well I guess that was pretty much it. Tridef 3D is freaking awesome. It does 3D video, 3D pictures, all of your games in 3D. And when you combine it with Trinus VR, the combination is unbelievable. And like I said, Trinus VR needs a gyroscope to work at its optimal performance. But the software says that if you don't have a gyroscope, it'll revert back to using the accelerometer and the phone. So... Um, I haven't tried it myself, so, you know, uh, we're on the webcam today because my potato camera sucks, and plus Mage isn't here, too. Please excuse my poor first-person shooter abilities and skills. My forte in games is actually fighting games. I'm a badass at, like, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and games like that. CeeLo, Terra, Mage, they're badasses at first-person shooters. I just kind of tag along in the raiding party and have fun along the way, too. So, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Keep the questions and comments going in the bitch box. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If I don't know the answer off the top of my head, then I'll try to find the answer for you. And, guys, just keep working at it. We're all in this together. So, I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.